Here are a few ways to build Chaturanga Dandasana. We'll begin to move toward Chaturanga Dandasana. On hands and knees, firm the arms, and with the inhale, lengthen from the hips forward toward the heart. Begin to come forward with the chest. Sink the heart down, keeping the shoulders back. Then bending the elbows, lower the chest to the floor. Once on the floor, the shoulders move away from the hips and up away from the floor. Tips of the shoulder blades move in toward the body. Next, move to plank pose. Extend strongly from the hips back to the feet and from the hips forward to the upper chest. Begin to lean the chest forward, sinking the heart down, bend the elbows, and as you lower down, touch the knees to the floor, keeping the waist firm, and settle all the way down to the floor with the chest. Taking this a step further, place a block underneath your hips and return to the floor with your chest on the floor, the shoulders away from the hips and up away from the floor. Lengthen the tailbone and firm the belly up, raising the chest off the floor. This is the alignment for the upper body. Then lift the knees and straighten the legs. The tailbone moves strongly toward your heels and extend forward toward your heart. The hips are now supported by the block. The next step is to come into plank and keeping the block under your pelvis, lower down to chaturanga using all the principles discussed earlier. Rest your hips on the block for support. And now put it all together. Moving into plank, extending out through the legs and through the upper body, keeping strong lift in the thighs, tailbone reaches strongly toward your heels. The belly draws in and up, supporting the waist. Begin to lower the heart down, bending the elbows. Lower down to within a few inches of the floor, keeping strong lift in the thighs, but lengthen the tailbone. On hands and knees, tailbone lengthens towards your heels and the belly draws up. Begin to come forward with the chest. On an exhale, begin to lower down toward the floor. The wrists are directly under the elbows. Once on the floor, lengthen the tailbone. The waist draws up. Straighten the knees. Now lift the chest, hips, and thighs off the floor. Creating Mula Bandha Uddiyana Bandha is really what supports this pose almost more than arm strength. 